We humans love to meddle. We just get our little homo sapien brains working and the next thing you know, bam, disaster. What's up people, Trace here for D News. How do you feel about invasive species? Thanks to humans meddling with the environment, we have nutria all over the damn place. Rabbits in Australia, the kudzu vine here in the US, cane toads, Nile perch, Asian carp, zebra mussels. We are not awesome at this invasive species thing, are we? An invasive species is one that is brought to an area and outperforms the native species, often pushing them out as it consumes resources and outbreeds the locals. There are so many invasive species around the world that here in the US, we have a National Invasive Species Council and information centers from the EPA to the Department of Agriculture. They affect every aspect of natural life all over the world. Before our tendency to take stuff with us, natural barriers like mountains, oceans, and the like kept a lot of species at bay. No pun intended. But now we bring them all over. Burmese pythons are an invasive species in Florida. In case you never realized, their name is Burmese, as in Burma, South Asia. They were either accidentally or purposefully released, and now there are as many as 100,000 of these 20-plus foot behemoths slithering around down there in the Everglades. Even doing something as simple as moving firewood can bring with it an invasive species like the emerald ash borer, which is native to Asia and thanks to Humanos has devastated the ash population in 14 states in Canada, causing $3.5 billion in damage every year. How did it get here from Asia? We're not exactly sure, but it's likely they hitched a ride on an automotive parts crate shipped to Detroit. Now that we know that invasive species are bad, we should like stop them and stuff, right? So how? Exactly, it's really, really hard. State and federal agencies have spent millions attempting to contain species with a smattering of success. And now we're getting ready to play this game again. In California and Florida, they grow citrus fruit. It's a thing that they do. But the Asian citrus psyllid, or ACP, is just reaving all over their crops, and no one likes reavers. The pest gets into their trees and carries a bacterial infection that attacks the fruit, causing it to shrivel up and taste terrible. Kill the psyllid, save the fruit. So now the growers have imported a wasp from Pakistan to do their dirty work. The Tamarixia radiata has been released periodically since 2011. So far, it seems like they're only attacking the ACPs. Since then, the fruit yields have improved, and the University of California Riverside says the wasps have only migrated about 65 miles from their release points so far. Knowing what we know about invasive species, is the industry pulling a crazy Ivan to save their fruit trees, or could this actually work? Are we just kidding ourselves? Tell us what you think, and thanks a bunch for checking out D News today. See you next time. Bye, guys.